Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy 15, Final Fantasy 14 edition. Because today, the long awaited whatever the heck has arrived. The Final Fantasy 14 collaboration is here. Look at that little icon right there, just like in Final Fantasy 14. What's the forecast? Clear skies with the temperature rising. Nice. Not for long, I'll tell you that much. No, 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 not 19. 19. <laughs> not not. Eh, that's the Gruta soundtrack, but... No. Yeah. Now, as some people may or may not know, I am actually a big fan of Final Fantasy XIV. I've played it quite a bit. Uh, but Garuda is not one of my favorite primals. And I guess spoilers. I haven't done this event yet, but I did watch the trailer. Uh, the fight in this collaboration is against Garuda. But Garuda's not one of my favorite primals. Not in a artistic sense. Like, I don't like her design very much. And... In a fight sense, not my favorite fight. That would go to Titan. Help! Please! Somebody help me! Ha! Nice. Hey, you guys hear something? Sure did. Sounded like somebody calling for help. Shall we have a look around, Noct? Ah, too bad the whole UI didn't switch there. Like in Final Fantasy XIV when it's a collaboration event, the whole quest accept screen, all of it just changes and swaps out, but I guess it must be harder in uh, this game. Was this closed before? Did they actually open this specifically for this? Huh. But anyway, yeah, before we... Yeah, actually, no, screw it. I'll keep talking after this cutscene. Yikes! That is the most humongous chocobo I've ever seen! Yeah. Off... me! You okay? You know, considering you're underneath a giant bird. It appears to have found a new nesting spot. Usually, I can entice it into moving with a treat! Right, chocobo feet. Uh, okay, hold on. I probably got some of that on me, right? Got beef with my greens? Um, uh, he's a pretty picky eater. <sighs> he only eats the very best veggies. Sounds like somebody I know. That's so. Nah, Noct wouldn't eat his veggies if they were the last food on Eos. <sighs> All right. Perhaps we should pop by the post. Wiz might have some good food for sale. Sick bird, Noctis. Sick bird. It's true, though. Noctis won't eat a bloody, single, tiny little ah, shred of green. Never knew chocobos could grow up to be such big birds. It is quite curious, given that chocobos are known for their high metabolism. <sighs> Those lucky cluckers. You know, body issues aside, this is kind of a pressing matter. So why don't we give the young lady a hand? Why a prompto? You worked hard and you got to be fit or whatever. Off to Wizard's Chocobo Post, though. We're not bad traveling. We're gonna enjoy the scenery. Everything in order. Yep. Alright. Move out, boys! Surprising no one noticed, uh, that she was a cat person. But, I, I guess we're just gonna pretend not to notice that. It's fine. When they, when they eventually realize when she gets off the ground or whatever. Uh, I'll pretend to not have noticed either. Anyways, as I was saying, Garuda's not my favorite primal. If I had the choice for this event, I probably would have gone with, like, uh, well, I guess all the really fun type or primals are taken already in this game. Like, Titan already exists, Infra already exists, Shiva, Leviathan already exists. King Thornton would have been really cool because he's like the 14 equivalent to the kings of yours. So it could have been like Noctis being like, oh, 
These are you in another dimension, huh? Alright, let's test your strength out. We're gonna fight. Or we could have had Susanoo. Because it, Gilgamesh in this game is quite serious. Like, he's still Gilgamesh, but he's quite serious. And... Susanoo obviously is not Gilgamesh, but... Susanoo would have filled that, like, gleeful, wacky kind of persona that Gilgamesh in this game doesn't have. That the Gilgamesh in every other game does have. Well, except nine. Safe and kind sound. of serious in nine no as well. Mistake in the smell of chocobos. No dialogue. So where's All the right. guy supposed to find fat chocobo feed? Let's ask the shop clerk. Or one of the breeders. Spoke too oh, soon, I guess. We're really lucky there's a Howdy. What can I do you for? Thank you kindly. All right, time to move us a chocobo. These look positively grand. Yeah, so leafy. I better love it. And the little lady will be saved. Speaking of, she looked a bit peculiar. Those pointed ears suddenly piqued my curiosity. Didn't notice. Well, you can have a good look when we go and give her these greens. Nice. At least I can trust Ignis to remember. Or notice, rather. Aw, oh, the icon's gone. What kind of craptastic event is this? Everything in order. Yep. Anyway, yeah, as I was saying. Uh, Ignis, you want to do Yui? Because we can go the other way. Let's move it! I like that it fires every time I press the right trigger, even though I'm not driving. Don't, 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 don't. Anyway, yeah, I don't know. I, I thought Susano would have been cool. Or Ravana. Ravana's a pretty rad boss as well. Man, that guy's cool. He has four swords? He's a giant bug dude? Tsukiyomi. Would have fit in with the theme at least. Anyways, that's neither here nor there. Uh, Garuda is still a fine boss. And this game, when it comes to astrals, the bosses are more like cinematic encounters more than bosses. So I'm hoping that we get a fun fight. That's really all I want. I just want, like, a new boss. A new thing to challenge myself with. Or at least have fun with. On the comrade side, like, the astral fights there are, like, really, really fun fights. And well designed, so if it's the comrade team that made this thing, we're gonna be in luck. At least as long as they're not trying to be, like, giant epic encounters like it was with Titan or Leviathan, we'll have a fun fight. I mean, I did like the Ifrit battle. I like that one a bit, but it was still kind of like a cinematic encounter. For two phases, anyway. Man, why is this song so good? We need to replenish our supply of curatives. Gotcha. Actually, good call. Because I think I have, like, one Phoenix down or something. And just to be on the safe side... Uh... I'm too poor for Phoenix Downs. Nice. Um, sure, we'll sell this. And, uh... Man, I really don't have a lot. What's a Magitek Core do? Oh, that's probably for, uh... Getting the Regalia, so let's not sell that. Wyvern Wings, screw it. I just want some Phoenix Downs, man. Five will do. Grab one extra elixir. Hopefully five will do. If I needed ten after all, I'm real bad. Alright, lady. We kind of left you here for like half a day, but... We're gonna be in there this time. We're gonna save you. We're gonna save you, I swear. We brought you some high-quality greens. Just... Set him down uh, over there. Nice touch. Take it I saw easy up there, thing. will ya? <sighs> Thank goodness. <laughs> oh, thanks so much. 
Sebastian. You're lifesavers. Don't sweat it. After all, helping people's what hunters do best. Whoa now. Easy there, tough guy. Hunters? You know, people who slay wild beasts and stuff. Oh. So you're like adventurers. I'm Yajime of the Y tribe. The what tribe? <laughs> so glad I ran into you. I have the perfect quest for you adventurers. You know that big walled area nearby? Something terrible is about to happen inside. You mean the Imperial base? What are they plotting within? They're preparing to perform a divine summoning. They're going to summon a god! Right! What? As opposed to... I believe the name speaks for itself. And you're not freaking out? If that wicked primal shows up here, this world will be in big trouble, you know? You don't want that to happen, do you? You have to help me, please! Okay, jeez. Oh, great! Here, take this Link Pearl. We can use it to keep in touch with each other. Oh, slow down a sec. Let's be sure to meet up again a little later. All right, adventurers. See you soon. I... Hey, wait up! <sighs> Guess she wasn't listening. We couldn't even get a word in edgewise. Does this mean we're locked into helping her? And going on an adventure? Given the Empire's penchant for demonizing the Divine, I'm afraid we can't stand to let this go. So what? We just follow her straight into the belly of the beast? <sighs> well, my friends, it doesn't sound like we have much of a choice. <laughs> Sounds like a plan to me. What's up here, Chocobo? Well, at least you're happy. I really like the touch there where the, everything just stops. They're like, okay, they're going to summon a god. Like, what? Because we have all the gods under our command, pretty much. Well, as far as we know, this far into the story, anyway. But everyone's just like, yeah, like, gods are they're cool, man. They're on our side. And she's like, no! Because in Final Fantasy XIV, gods are bad. They really rack up your stuff. Oh, it's not that far away at all. Everything in order. Yep. All right. Yeah, I don't think you go to this Imperial base in the main game, do you? I'm trying to think. But I'm pretty sure the answer is no. Yeah, you know what? No. Because I remember when the Ragnarok first came out, I was just dicking around with that, and I was fighting near this base, and it's not used at all. Huh. All right. Yeah, finally have a use for this hunk of junk. Let's do it. Maybe I should have made it daytime before we went in. Ah, oh, well. Oh, more demons. That time already? I'm not in the mood for these horror film rejects. That is a new... That is new. That's... I've never heard that one before. You know what, though? We're leaving. Where's my chocobo? Ah, I forgot to... Sell my chocobo back. All right, we're walking over there. Uh, this save started out in Chapter 10, because that's where I was after the last stream. So, of course, when I went back to the past, I lost my chocobo. But, oh well. Uh, actually, I should probably on the road. Huh? I'm going to try and take a shortcut, but I'm like, wait, no, there's a ramp here. Oh well, we can run. It's not that far away. And who needs a regalia anyway? Where we're going, we don't have cars. We're, n we're not going to get like a Chocobo costume or anything for this, are we? I was going to say Chocobo Barding, because that's what they call it in 14, but that doesn't exist here either. I'm going all out. Just don't get too ah, son of a... You don't want to talk. Well, here we are. I'm busy. Come to me, friends. We have four business to attend to. Hey! 
You gonna get that? How am I supposed to get it? Like, uh, this? Oh, hi there. <laughs> you too, Can you hear me okay? Loud and clear. Oh, perfect. Now we can talk to each other any time. Okay, listen, Anytime. first... <sighs> Never mind. Where are you? Inside the wall. I have found a place where I can see what they're up to. You're already inside? Look, we're on our way. Just stay put. All right. Be careful, adventurers. The boys then come out at night, and you most certainly want to steer clear of them, so you'd better act while the sun is up. See you soon. You're not going to make us wait till daytime, are you? Okay, well, that, I mean, that's fine. Wow, really? <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's do it. After Noctis and his companions save the strange young woman, Yajime, she provides information about a dangerous primal who shall soon be summoned into this world. The chosen king turned brave adventurer must now infiltrate an imperial base and put a stop to this summoning ceremony. It's quiet. Too quiet. After the Empire withdrew its troops, this base remained completely barren until now. Yeah, Jimmy? Where are you? Hey! Hey! Can you see me? Up here! There's something I want to show you. Do you think you can possibly make it over this way? On my way. Stay right where you are. She's got something to show us. I'll go. By yourself? Yeah, it's faster that way. And who knows what she'll do if we take too long. Good point. We'll stay here and take care of whatever comes our way. Yeah, just kill a bunch of whatever's going on. I was looking at... I guess you can't see it from here. I was looking at the other side of this base, where the, the hill is. I'm like, that's not a very fortified base. You can just jump over the wall from the hill. But then I'm like, wait, there's an invisible wall there. They're fine. Hashtag kind of savage. Give me that. Ether. Nice. You're not hiding a second Cerberus in here anywhere, are you? Nice. Some good old sound effects and UI. We've reached our storage limit for unnecessary specimens. Please send over a dropship to dispose of these materials within the next month before a hoarder of a captain collecting more junk with little value, like that important bird statue you brought back the other day. A important bird statue. I don't know what that's referring to. Maybe I'm not supposed to know yet. I thought it would be a 14 reference. Yeah, that's it. You can climb up around there and make your way over. Got it. Thanks. I can jump. Why don't I just warp over there? Whatever. Let's see what they're hiding in here. I just bought some, man. It's not fair. Okay. This is a jump puzzle because that's what Final Fantasy XIV does now. By the way, don't do the jump puzzle in Final Fantasy XIV. It's a bad time. Hey. You want some food, kitty? Oh, it's okay. So it unlocks point mark markers as checkpoints. So that's convenient. Why don't they do that in videos? I do like the idea of jump puzzles, though. This better be worth it. Like as much as the jump puzzles in Five Nights Fourteen are extremely frustrating, they're also kind of fun because it's a different type of hey, I've run. They're a different type of content. Just like some fun little side activities to do. 
while you're not doing anything else. And it's a different type of gameplay, 15 as well. There's not much in the way of platforming. Which, that's because the controls suck for platforming, but, you know, still would be fun. Look at me, I can point warp to a place where I already was, or a store might be. Oh no. Tightrope walking. You can't do that in this game. Not because barely walk straight. It's like that one, like, really tiny jump in the 14 jump puzzle, to be honest. You made it! I'd expect nothing less from an expert adventurer. <sighs> right. So, what was it you wanted to show me? And what the hell's up with those ears and that tail? First, what I wanted to show you. Here. Why don't you use this telescope and see for yourself? I don't know where I'm supposed to look. Do you see that huge machine and that strange looking ritual going on? Uh, let me see. Where? Also, I like that this is ripped straight out of Final Fantasy XIV. Is that the thing? What are those things? And what are they doing? They're Ixali Beastmen. They're getting ready to perform the Divine Summoning. It's a secret ritual that calls forth Garuda, Lady of the Vortex, chosen primal of the Ixal. Right, I get it. Just like forging a covenant. What happens if this Garuda shows up, anyway? Well, the gods manifest themselves by drawing energy from the land. And this particular god is supposed to be really vicious. Uh-huh. Which means lots of destruction. Well, guess we better do something then. Exactly! I know it's a dangerous endeavor, but you adventurers have to stop the ritual before it's too late. Can do. It's nice how they're working the lore in and then having Noctis react in lethal huh. ways according to what how he sees it. What kind of machine is that? I believe it's this world's version of a teleporter. I found myself right next to it when I came to, so it may have brought me here. What do you mean, this world? You know, your world. The one we're in right now. That device must have linked up with one of the ancient, elegant teleporters I found back home. I racked my brain, and that's the only theory I could come up with. Sure. Sounds like something straight out of a video game. Oh, Wonder and why. as for my ears and tail, have you really never seen a Makote before? You mean, they're real? Very real. Wait, Noct is a scene of Mikote in a video game? It's Final Fantasy XIV canon to this game. Okay, where else am I supposed to look? What are those spheres moving around down there? They're moving now? That's funny. I'm pretty sure they were stationary when I escaped from this place. How did you end up getting stuck by a thing anyway? Okay, I found all your stuff. Right? Hey, it's that Chocobo. Oh no! What's he doing here? He's my partner, you know? I can't really look after him properly while I'm in the middle of my research, so I let him eat whatever he wants, which happens to be quite a lot. How many things do I have to find? I thought it was only three. Looks like the Empire knows my weakness. Oh. Are you admiring that big black Upkalu over there? Isn't he the <laughs> cutest thing? Oh, I just want to take him home with me. No, no, and let me say from experience, you do not want to get near that thing. Nice meme, bro. I really think they should be saying something about the giant floating things, but you know, whatever. I thought it only wanted me to find three things. I well, we got the elegant teleporter. Which, how the hell did you find a teleporter anyway? Uh, I don't really see much else. Those are torches. What's with that statue over there? You mean. You haven't come across one in your adventures? I can sense the ethereal power of the winds flowing through that statue. 
I suspect it has something to do with the divine summoning of Garuda. <laughs> well then, I guess we'd better go check it out. What's that got to do with uh, this world, though? Whoops, I accidentally clicked yes. Well, I should about cover it. Probably can't get into the ritual area just yet. Maybe we better start by checking out that statue. Sounds good. And I'll go with you this time. Nice. New party member. That's quite You're gonna be a story you brought later. back down with you. No wonder you took so long. I'm kind of jealous. Sounds just like a video game. But we mustn't treat it like one. Still, we've seen our fair share of fantastical happenings, so we can't write it off outright. Yeah, Yajime seems genuinely worried about the whole thing. She's right there. Least we can do is go check it out. Oh, thank you. You adventurers are the best. I also like that she just assumes that everything works the way it does in Eorzea. Huh. Even though it totally doesn't. It's like, oh, you're adventurous, right? Oh, it, the, the summoning ritual, right? Oh, primals. Oh, what uh, teleports. I'll distract him. You guys take him out. All these things are obviously real in this world. And she knows that she's not here. Or she's not in her world. So she's like, ah, whatever, let's just figure it out. Calling out Noctis for not being able to use magic. What kind of game is this? That did feel like about the right amount of time to cast a spell. I'm gonna do this. Brilliant. That way they blow up before. Or at least they get super armor on that. That takes care of that. Tell me, what sort of magic were you using? Just a simple curative spell. I'm only a novice. No way! You're out of this world! Literally. <laughs> you sure saved our skins. Just don't forget to save your own, too. Can you teach us how to use magic? That'd be sick. Actually, like, I know what the rewards are for this event, but if the reward is actually, hey, new spell, that would have been the sickest shit. Like, even if it was just a spell I had to craft. Actually, I, I would pretty dumb if I had to craft it. If it was just, like, a, a new Arcana so spell, pretty much, you talked about. that would have been Not sick. Simply any statue, it's an artistic interpretation of the Emissary of the Winds, one of the messengers. A friend of Gentiana's? Um, she never said anything about him. Well, oh, it's not surprising. Likely because the only tomes that mention it are of dubious origin. Her name has been lost to the ages. No one's sure it ever existed at all. The Empire seems pretty sure. I mean, check out all this equipment. They're doing some serious research. I'd like to inspect it as well. There's something unusual about it. A strange power slumbering within. <laughs> Who cares about some forgotten chunk of Imperial rock? I think we've got more important business on our hands. Indeed, the Ixor. Considering the way those sentries attacked earlier, I'd say the Beastmen have begun using the base as their own. Then I say we let sleeping statues lie and go kick some Beastman butt. Uh, all right. We could smash the thing too. No, no, no harm with it. Definitely taking a picture of this, though. Take photo. It's nice how they're working the lore in. Can I get an upfront picture of... Do hey, you mind if I take a picture of your cosplay? Yeah, go ahead. Thanks, man. Alright. Now that, now that I'm done, Mickey. Check it out! Meteor Cosmo shards. Jokes. The Exali Beastmen must be using them. Okay, you know what? I really like how they're working the Final Fantasy 15 lore in with the 14 lore. I'm kind of surprised at how well it's working, actually. Like, or, or more specifically, how well they go together. Okay, I've heard that there's a that this jump here is something I want to do. 
way up there. Wait, am I supposed to do this jump from here or not? I forgot how I saw it done. I'm just going for it. Ah, fail. I will get you yet. Uh, so, do you think we're gonna have to throw down with those Ixel? Depends on what kind of reception we get. Hey, Jimmy, didn't you say they almost captured you? Yes. I was so scared. If my chocobo hadn't been with me, who knows what would have happened? To think of all the horrifying things they could be doing to me right now. Oh, whatever those horrifying things are, I definitely don't want them being done to me. Well, we're glad you made it to safety. It's a really messed up thought, guys. I don't want to know what it's all do to people. I was going to say something, but I forgot. Oh, yeah. I wonder if the... Actually, I guess we could test this out, huh? I wonder if the enemies here are showing up in the bestiary. Uh... Imperial, maybe? Maybe they're just not going to. That would suck. Not seeing them though. Well, Reach, I remember technically a desk guy, right? Uh, nah, man. That's unfortunate. I would have liked to get something more on these guys. Even if it just would have been a little something, right? I guess because they're technically not for Mios. Who's going to write lore about these things? Smoked. Best sword hey, NA. Stay on your feet. Whoa, what? hello. Why isn't that subtitle? Stop. I forgot what the passive ability on that. Sarah's great sword 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 is. These things are very shiny. Also, going to be extremely different. Thank you. I'm not a big fan of how these explode. Okay, maybe this isn't the way. Oh, hi there, opening. Sorry to break this up. Didn't expect Prophet to one shot. Nice work, Gladio. Oh, yeah. Cool. Super armor. Very nice. Why did they have an M1 Zero? To our goddess, this new land belongs to Garuda. Interfere with her summoning, featherless ones must not, must not. They're always looking for a fight. Hey, we knew it was coming. No point complaining now. I'll give you heal. Gotcha. You just focus on fighting. Now I think back. Where's Carbo? She's a scholar. Damn it, what's the thing called? Arcanist. Arcanist, yeah. Where's the, where's the car bump? Get that like level 5. Alright, drop a deck. There we go. You know what? I'm gonna focus on that. No parry? I got to talk about this thing, I guess. Kill the thing! Take damage, huh? Uh, awkward. Wait, where the Exol are you? Oh, okay. See if I can. Is that Ingus doing a back thing over that thing? No. Appreciate it. Oh, man. Oh, 
Excel, you're up. Oh, hi there, opening. Wait, is the Excel he piloting that back? Is that why I can hear those sounds? Take this! I think it is. That's absolutely terrifying. Whoa! Stop it. Hey, how's it look over there? I think we might be winning! I think I got an armature. Let's go, fellas! Oh yeah! Ready! That's cool though. Actually what I would like is for opening attack. But I guess beggars can't be choosers. Nice. Gladio! Get him, Gladio. Gladio got him. Oh. I thought we were done here. Now we are. Yeah. Oh, is everyone all right? Peachy, thanks for the healing. I must say, the Ixali Beastmen seem all but hell bent on seeing their so called divine summoning to completion. Well, we'd better hurry then. I don't think we'd stand much of a chance against the Lady of the Vortex. Gotta find a way in first. They should be just beyond that wall. Have you seen me against Titan? Oh. Kicked his ass. I don't remember if we went in this one yet, so I'm just gonna double check. Items? Items. Gimme. Thank you. Moving on. I want to send Noctis to this the is the teleporter, I presume. It looks strikingly similar to Solheim's magic technology. You think this is what the Ixel used to get here? Actually, eh, how should I put this? You see, they didn't come here of their own accord. I brought them. What? I kind of borrowed some valuable scholarly documents from their camp, and they kind of caught me red-handed. I managed to escape into some ancient ruins, but then there was this little accident, and, well, here we all are. I'm sorry I kept quiet about it. I should have told you. Uh, well, no need to apologize now. I mean, you did cause some trouble, but at least you're trying to make things right. Yeah, if it was me, I probably would have just turned tail and run. We appreciate you helping us understand the situation. Why not allow us to help you in return? Exactly. Leave it to us. After all, that's what adventurers do, right? Save people and stuff? Wow, guys. What would I do without you? I'm gonna do everything I can to help, too. You can teach me some of that magic. But if you don't want to do that, I don't know. Do whatever, I guess. Aw, oh, come on. Good. Gotta get it unlocked. Can I just warp over it? Knock this. You gotta be smart one these days. I guess there's a computer right here. There, all done. Should be able to open the gate now. Why didn't Prompto do this? He's the machine guy. One of these days. Let's see. What kind of weapons do I want? Hello, bird! Mr. Chunkabo, what you doing over here? I'm amazed the big guy even made it over here. He's a faithful steed. Bet he'd do anything to protect his partner. And I'm very grateful. I just wish he'd go a little lighter on me. How rude. He's a lovable Chunkabo. Anywho. I was gonna say, the weapons didn't seem terribly effective. HP is at max, okay. I was for trying to remember what the passive was on that thing. Uh Thunderbolt's technically the strongest weapon I have. What is, oh right. I forgot I had this. Well 
Seeing as how we're in Final Fantasy XIV land. Not quite, but kind of. May as well, right? For people who have not played Final Fantasy XIV, this is the weapon that you get when you become a level 50 uh, warrior. It's their famous battle axe. No, don't tell me we're too late. Come on! Uh huh? What was that? Oh, no, you don't! What the? Did you get him? I didn't even touch him. The shards! that summoning magic still works in EOS. But I guess gods go wherever they want. Also, gods in 14 are more based on belief than anything. They're not actually here like the that gods in 15 are. They're like constructs. Alright, Karuda. Intervention is the last thing we need. Oh, these insolent insects seem not to know their place. Behold, as my gales drown out your arrogant protestations, tremble as my winds tear you limb from limb. Ah! All right, lady. Basically, we're just using it. yourselves unto me. I would feast upon your ether. None shall stand against the wind. Nice. It's not going to stop us. We got a tough one on our hands. Oh, Is that it for conversation? No. Uh. Oh? Can as a demon? Or are you just weak to spears? Demon is analyzed. I heard you guessed that. Break the way. Must break. Must get smoked. Maybe crit from Prompto. Nice one, Prompto. It's not the Prompto's here. Some kind of special attack. Wait, where'd the other one go? Oh wait, is this gonna? Hey, how dare you? Is this gonna be like Final Fantasy XIV, where if I didn't let two of these killers die, I just die? Oh, it's super like that. Okay. <laughs> All right. Whoa. Last kill. 
Sword, sure. Gladio. Tempest, I guess. Grab his <laughs> Do more damage, damn it. Ooh. Oh, oh, wait, Sparnage! Oh my god. They're just bringing out all the stops, huh? I do like this, though. Makes me want, like, all the 14 bosses to be in this game. Get smoked. Uh, are you gonna explode on me? No, just die. Do the thing where you die. This is an MMO fight, so you gotta take out the boss. Or the ass. All this. Cool, we don't have any more. No, we got one. Worry about yourself. So we might not die. We need to start. Not die. Really? That strat didn't work so well. Got a set. Give me Tempest. What can I say? Fine. I didn't need Tempest anyway. Well, I'm just losing four points right now. So maybe she won't fight me if I don't if I let too many of them die. Oh, that's the attack that would have wiped me. He had five minutes for Hello? I, I don't know whose voice I'm following, but as long as you're helping me out, I'm with you! Acting like a king, dude. <laughs>
awesome in every sense. Except for damage. No didn't do a lot of damage. This is impossible! Scratch that, you kinda killed him. Her. We did it! They added a new summon to this game? And it's not a astral? Is it over? Hey, where's Noct? Adventurers! Are you alright? Yes, we three at least. Oh no. No! This can't be! There you are! What's up, guys? Oh, oh man! I, I thought you disappeared on us! Are you hurt? No, I think I was just dreaming. Uh, you sure you're okay there, Sleeping Beauty? Yeah, I'm fine. Oh, thank goodness. I was so afraid you'd been whisked away to my world this time. Speaking of which, do you think you'll be able to make it back? Well, I'm not sure. If I manage to arrive here in one piece, I imagine I'll be able to head home safely too. Do you really think so? But of course, I'm not worried. Besides, as a natural historian, the opportunity to explore an unknown world fills my heart with excitement. I'm going to stay here a while and do some more research. If you adventurers have anything you'd like me to investigate, just let me know. Videos. Oh, that's right. I never asked any of your names. A bit late for that. Come on, show the young lady a little kindness. I'm Gladio. Minex! Prompto's my name. Photography's my game. Photography? Taking pictures? Hold on a second. You had your turn. How can I forget the bespectacled gentleman with the display? Objectiveness! You're some wingman. I was defeated by the gods and awakened by a traveler from another world. That's pretty... Wow. That's a lot of effort to go through for a crossover event. I still would have preferred having to learn or learning physic. But having a new summons is sick. I mean, I don't get to use summons all that much because I don't want to. But that's still really cool. Also adds a little bit of lore because you don't know much about the messengers. Although forgotten to time. Usually that only happens with uh, stuff on the evil side, like Ifrit and Arden. Hmm. Wonder if she participated in the war with Arden. Where is he locked on and disengaged? Nice, thank you for that prompt over addition. Am I a Mordona? No! Stop! Not allowed to be oh, here! Guys, it's Kenny! What's that next to him? It's a Paisa. I wonder what it's doing here. Well, gotta take a picture of that, I guess. How are you, Chocobo? <laughs> what are you still doing here? What? Well, he's got something in his beak. Huh? Try it, I guess. This episode's already super long. What? 
able to get a voice recorder or something? You know, warn me that it was just credits. Where were you, Harrington? I don't know that name. Nice, Prompto is playing in Excel. Fantastic. Fantastic. Okay, is there going to be something that's happening? Or am I just watching the credits? Confused. Yes, that's what you look like in this world. Shadow boxing you know? Fun times, happy land. <laughs> nice. Got wrecked by a cat, really? What kind of arcanist are you? I mean, you're, I guess you're not much of an arcanist, but Carbone Full, huh? You have like three spells that you can use. One of them's a dot. One of them's healing. At least I think it's healing. I don't actually play an Arcanist in 14. That's my lowest level class. It's like level 7. <laughs> Everything else I at least have to 30 and made it a job. Don't tell me this cat's going into the crossover. Uh oh. Bye, cat. Or not. Okay. But I'm guessing that that cutscene where Noctis disappeared was to set up the crossover event in Final Fantasy XIV. Which I guess means that only Noctis is going to show up in that game. Which is unfortunate, but oh well. I don't like this shot. It's too spooky for me. Nice. Anyway, I guess I could just talk about the event. This event's great. I like this event a lot. It's fun. Uh, there's a lot of attention to detail. Boss battle, not the most complex thing in the world, but still fun. Some cool little mechanics, and there's spawning ads and the blowing up things and all that. Uh, I don't know, it's just a fun time. It was a nice little mixing of lore and then adding a little bit of lore to 15, which is cool. Back in. Good job, Takahiro Ito. You did good on the back end. I believed in you this entire time. Uh, yeah, it was just. I don't really know what to say, except for that it was fun. Hey, BD5, good job, Yoshida. Yoshida san. You know, for like Final Fantasy 15, it's pretty much over. Like the DLC is not coming out except for Episode Art. Uh, what's the face? Uh, Comrades got its update, but who knows? That's probably it for Comrades. Maybe, maybe, maybe it'll still get an update. You never know. I mean, it just came out as standalone, so you think they do at least one more update? But you never know. Uh, but like, this event makes me wish there was more like it. You know? Like, have an event with Final Fantasy XIII, I guess, because not because the Lightning were originally from the same, like, mythology or whatever. They're just fun little things. And if this is all we ever got from Final Fantasy XV, now that the deal, or after the DLC's done, I'd be okay with that. Just some more adventures with the bros, you know? That's all I want. And the DLC, but, you know, whatever. Okay. Anyway, what's in here? Can I buy? Hey, want to grab a picture while we're all here? Sure. Yes. Why not? A picture? Yeah, it'll be a great addition to the old scrapbook. Right, she doesn't know what a picture is. Ready or not? Ah. 
Nice. Photo saved. Oh, and here's one for you, Yajime. Oh, wow. Thank you very much. Proof that you've been to another hey, world when you go I back to Eorzea. Any idea what it is? Wow. You've got your hands on something really impressive. I think you should be able to make special weapons with that material. It just might help you adventurers out on your journey. It's because it's a trading post. <laughs> nice. Having your hum along with that song, it's cool. Oh, you can buy AP, look at that. You can get 1,960 AP in particular. Adamantite. I've heard from good friend Asatoni that these four weapons in particular are extremely broken and that you should get them. The abandoned plumes, pain, and gaze. What are these? Oh, okay. These ones you just pay with Algon Tome Stones, which is nice. Oh, and these ones upgrade from weaker versions. Okay. I don't have any Vortex Feathers. How do I get those? I'm ready to make anything you want. Come back anytime. Cool. This is probably to do the rematch. Let's see. What? Again? Hold on. It's not attacking. Perhaps it comes in peace. Hey, it's wife. Something written here. Training note activated. Reproducing battle records. <laughs> Any bugs? Is this Omega's thing? I like that even their robots have to appeal to Nibelheim's. Oh, ooh. An extreme mode of the fight? Sick. I have to sneeze. Anyway, this episode's quite long already, so we're gonna call it for now, but I will definitely throw up an episode of me taking on that higher level fight. What level am I? 50? Alright, might be a little tough, but we'll try it. Gotta get those sick weapons somehow. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. I'll just keep saying that over and over. For now, though, that'll do it for this episode of Final Fantasy XV. Thanks for watching, everybody. Next time, Garuda? There might be a couple actual streams of story progression between here and then, because that thing's level 120. But I guess I could just eat some equalizer food. We'll see. Anyways, thanks for watching, everybody. I'll see y'all next time. Bye!